design. Ah, yes. Channel drop. Hi guys, it's Matt here. How's everyone doing? I'm back with another review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Under Armour Hover Makina Makina 3, uh, which is a higher mileage everyday runner from uh, Under Armour. Actually, this is the third iteration of their shoe. And I was actually quite surprised with this shoe, uh, I must say. You know, I'm going to be talking about what, what surprised me the most on these shoes, what the technology is in the shoes, how it feels like to run in the shoes, what I like about the shoes, what I don't like about the shoes, and most importantly, whether you should buy these shoes or not. So let's get right into this. Let's talk about the, uh, the Hover Machina and what's, uh, what's the technology in these shoes. You know, there's ample amount of uh, cushioning uh, going around. Um, in, in the shoes, similar to the previous iterations of the shoes. However, unlike the previous iterations, the new Makina 3 uh, uses uh, what's called a dual density um, a foam. Under the heel, you've got uh, like a softer hover foam. And at the front, you've got a firmer, uh, more responsive foam that helps you, you know, with the toe offs. So softer landings, roll forward, firmer, firmer toe offs. As a, there's a bit of a band going on in the firm, firm section, which again is great. As well as that, there's the, the warp upper has been redesigned. It's called an engineer's spaced mesh upper. So it fits, apparently it fits better. On the outsole, you're gonna, you find the channeled rubber outsole that places more rubber in high wear areas and removes rubber where it's just not needed really. Again, reducing overall weight. The Under Armour Hover Makina 3 has an eight millimeter offset. Uh, I'm not actually sure the about the stack height and UK size 10 shoes that I wear is uh, 358 grams. So again, far from being a light shoe, uh, you can definitely feel the weight. But again, it's an everyday high mileage trainer. It's not supposed to be light, it's supposed to be cushioned and this is a well cushioned shoe. It's very comfortable to wear. It's very nice to run in. I was genuinely surprised by that. One thing I forgot to mention that the uh, Hover Makina 3 uh, connects to the Map My Run app via Bluetooth. There's a Bluetooth transmitter in the shoes. And uh, if you connect it to the app, if you run with the app, you can get real-time feedback on how you run for the price that you pay for the shoes. You get a running watch-esque uh, you know, experience. Let's talk about ergonomics and what it feels like to run in the shoes. Honestly, at first, at, at first glance, it, the Hover Makina 3 reminded me of like basketball shoes. Uh, not in a bad way. I think Under Armour has a very a long history of, of creating very decent uh, basketball shoes. The Hover Makina 3 and the Hover Makina uh, franchise have, have always, you know, it has always been very famous for being comfortable. The previous iteration, I, I clearly remember the Hover Makina 2 was, was like super chunky. It was like, just like a, like a, like a brick, you know, it was just like, I mean, I was like, this is just too warm, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of bulky. Whereas the Hover Makina 3, it's actually very comfortable to wear. It's, it's, it's very well ventilated and, you know, putting on the shoes, you know, it has, it has like, a, you know, the heels kind of run up a bit, you know, a lot of padding around the, the collar, you know, a lot of cushioning going under the heel, which is again, great for mitigating the impact force on your joints. This unit here, at the heel uh, will help you preserve those legs, which is great for like recover runs and just everyday running and stuff. The dual density foam, I'm, I'm, I'm always a bit, a bit cautious when, when the, the, uh, there's different density uh, in, in the, you know, introduced in the midsole because if it's not implemented well, when there's the barrier between the softer or like the different densities, sometimes in, in that point, it's, it's kind of like, it's not good. It's not a good experience to be like going from very firm to very light, or you know the other way around. And you like after like you know a few miles, you're gonna feel like that. Oh, actually, I mean, in that point where they meet different densities, it, it's it's like it's not a nice it's not a nice feeling. However, the way the the Hover Makina Three as midsole is constructed, I mean, it was super comfortable. I mean, I I, I was like I was waiting for that uncomfortable uh, sensation to come, and it never did. And I was like, I was like, this is comfortable. Oh, this is comfortable. And like mile after mile, I was like, but I can't actually feel that, you know, I can't actually feel that like, that, that just negative sort of feeling. And I was like, oh, this is, this is actually really nice. I'm very happy with, with, uh, with a dual density midsole. It is, a, it is like a chunkier, relatively heavy everyday runner. Uh, so don't expect to, you know, beat any PBs in these shoes. The, uh, the foam is set to last for at least 500 miles. That's pretty good. Like that's that's above the your usual three to four hundred miles that that a lot of uh, shoe manufacturers say that the uh, shoes last for that long. So five hundred miles in these shoes, uh, great. You know that you know you want that from a from a. 
from a higher mileage runner to be able to retain this, its best qualities for longer. And again, as, as, as long as you don't like use it for extremely speedy runs, I believe that this will actually last for 500 miles. Very good value for money shoe, long story short. Should you buy the Under Armour Hofer Machina 3 shoes? Uh, I think yes, yes, you should. Uh, if you're looking for a high mileage runner, uh, that's a good value for money. This is this is a pretty good shoe for that. Uh, again, you got you got a, a midsole, you got a foam that will last for 500 miles. You got the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, you got you got um, you know a comfort, a comfortable shoe, uh, and you got a shoe that that's you know that is designed for 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 stuff that people should do. You know the type of run that people should do the most anyway, which is the everyday run, which is not a threshold run. You know, not tempo runs and stuff. This is just this for like you know doing your doing your run. Uh, you know, a long a long long run on a Sunday, and I think it's, you know for that it's pretty good. Again, it's, it's not even an eyesore either, so you know that's 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 a plus. The shoes cost 140 pounds in the UK and 150 dollars in the US. The, not the cheapest ever really runners, even the like like Pegasus 39 is cheaper than this. However, I don't think the Nike Pegasus 39 would last quite as long as these shoes. It's a pretty decent runner, you know. I think you know. Long story short, it's uh, it's it's great. You know, it has a springiness where it needs to be springy. It has firmness where it needs to be firm. Uh, you know, comfortable, kind of ventilated. It's great, you know, just just go and get it if that's what you want, really, guys. I think that was it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, uh, if you did, please uh, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, no, liking the video, subscribing to the channel. There's more running shoes and variable reviews coming very, very soon. And if, if you don't mind me asking, if you can just leave a comment of what you think of uh, Under Armour running shoes, because I think they have like a kind of like a mixed reputation, uh, especially in the UK. Like I personally like them. Uh, but I feel like that a lot of people don't, they just associate Under Armour with like different stuff than running. Whereas I think their running shoes are, are you know, pretty good. Uh, you know, not the best, but like they are, they are pretty decent. Uh, so, you know, I would be interested to hear what you guys think. Uh, yeah, so that was it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoy guys. There's more reviews coming very, very soon. I'm going to Milan very, very soon. So, you know, that's happening as well. There's a, there's a travel vlog coming uh, and I'm planning on doing like comparisons of, of uh, you know, running sunglasses, which is something different. And um, and also like kind of tips and tricks and stuff for, for running and workouts and weightless and all that stuff. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Thanks guys, speak soon.